Hello everyone and welcome back to another Cambridge vlog. For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Ellie and I study part three of the Mathematical Tripos at the University of Cambridge, which as I say in all my videos is basically just a fancy way of saying that I study a maths masters. So this is a typical day in my life. I woke up quite early and managed to get a bit of work done in the morning before heading to the library. And what I'm doing here is just going over an example sheet. So we have example classes where we will go over the solutions to example sheets. And basically what I was doing this morning was just annotating my own solutions, uh, seeing where I may have missed a few marks um, and just basically checking that I was familiar with the entire solutions for this example sheet. And this was for my dynamics of astrophysical disks module, which is an astrophysics module as part of the uh, mathematical tripos. And it is so cool. I'm really enjoying it. So after that, I headed to the library. The sun was shining. We've had really good weather recently um, and Cambridge just looks so beautiful with all the nice weather. So I headed to the library and luckily the route to the library, uh, if you've seen on my other videos, is absolutely stunning. You go over this bridge here and you get to see Trinity and St John's and then there's always a nice little walk through the trees afterwards. I've been trying to get into the habit of filming more of these videos, um, especially the voiceovers, because I've had a few nice comments from people saying they enjoy the videos where I'm just talking the whole time and telling you what I'm getting up to. So if you are interested, then subscribe because I'm planning on releasing loads more videos. So this is the walk to the library and this is the university library, which is absolutely huge. If you see my other video, I mentioned that there are 8 million books in this library and it is actually a really nice place to study. I found a really nice place, which my friend Keshav found. It wasn't me that found it, it was Keshav, so uh, thank you, Keshav. But we basically get to work at this 18th century table, and it's in a quiet part of the library, and I get a lot of work done when I'm here. It's just so nice, and the vibes are really, <laughs> are really nice in the library. And it's always nice on breaks to have a walk around the library, because it is honestly huge. On one of my breaks, I decided to post an Instagram, which was just to say, Happy International Women's Day. Um, so this day was on the 8th of March and this is just me promoting my Instagram so if you're interested uh, go follow my Instagram I post regularly on my story uh, and just show you what I'm getting up to as a Cambridge student so now I am done with the uh, Instagram promotion uh, we started to do a bit more work so this was just me going over the example sheet like I said the example sheets at part three uh, vary a lot some example sheets will have maybe four questions which are quite in depth and other example sheets will have, gosh, like maybe eight, ten questions. Uh, it just depends which modules you take. I prefer the longer example sheets because then you get more practice at different things. Um, but this was, again, for the dynamics of astrophysical disks module that I'm doing this term. And as you can guess from the title of, of the module, it's basically just looking at dynamics of astrophysical disks. So things like protoplanetary disks or Saturn's rings. It's really cool to learn learn the maths behind how these things work. We've recently been looking at shearing motion, which is part of what this example sheet that, that I'm going over. So that's shearing motion uh, within astrophysical disks. And yeah, it's it's really cool. It's one of those modules where you it takes a while to kind of get your head around what's actually going on in terms of the, the physics background. I think that's probably because I don't have a physics background. Uh, I enjoy the maths a lot and I enjoy the physics. It takes a while to get your head you know, wrapped around it because it's just so surreal. Oh, I'm back with some promotion again. There is my Spotify. <laughs> um, one of my good friends from Cambridge, Heidi, made a Spotify playlist called Sid Study Scores and it just has loads of cool uh, relaxing music that I've been listening to. So that was me just scrolling through the example sheet and that's how many pages there were for my solutions. So 26 pages in total, which is quite a lot. Uh, on the bookshelves near where we study are Cambridge University books, which are quite cool. There was a book that I found which had the Tripos list from 1966, and the first Tripos was the Mathematical Tripos. I hadn't realised um, when I first came to Cambridge that when you say part three, people just assume you do maths, even though there are other triposes out there, which is quite cool. Um, so yeah, these are the people that did part three in 1966. And hopefully my name will be in a book for 2022. So then I got back and did a little bit more work. And this time I was doing my astro statistics module, which is statistics in an astronomy sense. And it's quite cool. There's a, there's a bit of an overlap with my dissertation that I did in my undergrad, uh, Monte Carlo methods, which is really cool. It's nice having a bit of overlap and kind of recognising some material uh, at Cambridge. I then emailed my supervisor for my part three essay and asked if I could arrange a meeting just so we could go over some things I'd written in my essay. So this is my essay. This is a very, very rough, this is me just jotting down loads of different things. But essentially at part three, you can choose whether you want to do an essay or not. 
an essay in maths always sounds a bit strange but it basically just means a dissertation and I'm actually releasing a video of me doing a, a full day's work on my dissertation my essay so subscribe so you don't miss out on that video and I'll explain a little bit more about the essay so I'd finished off the astrostatistics and we then walked back for college lunch as I said in my previous video all of the colleges offer college lunch so the college I'm at is Sydney Sussex and it's very central to Cambridge and the food is always really good there so we headed back over the river. If you're ever in Cambridge, give punting a go. And then we stopped to listen to this man play the violin. And then we headed back to college. So the walk from the library is only about 10 minutes, which is really nice. It's a good kind of break between work. Uh, and this is Sydney here. So that was the menu for lunch today. And it doesn't look particularly appetising, but it was delicious, <laughs> as I say in most of my videos. So this is all my friends from postgrad, so the MCR. Uh, too many to name there, but uh, shout out to all of them. And then we went to Sainsbury's, got some snacks and just chilled tried in the garden for about 10 minutes while the sun was shining. Cumberland had to go because he is a PhD student, so he isn't on college, he's in his department. Saeed and Jason then played a game of foosball, and Jason beats everybody all the time, which is really annoying and frustrating. <laughs> he's like a champion at, at foosball in the MCR. I then got a cup of tea and did some work from the MCR. It was very dead. We then got our invitation to the Harry Potter formal, which is what I'll be showing you later in this video. And then I got on with some more work. I was continuing with the astrostatistics module, which was basically just checking over an example sheet again. And it's always handy to just check that you know what has gone on in an example sheet. As part of one of my breaks, I then posted my day in the life of a Cambridge University student. Um, and that was exploring the library which you can see here. I hadn't posted it at this time, hence the private, but it's now up on my YouTube, so check it out if you're interested. A few of us then decided to walk around Sydney Gardens. This is the college that I'm at, and it is honestly beautiful. It's it's so pretty. The daffodils are starting to, to flower, and the gardens are just so stunning. Here are the daffodils. I literally, every time I go into the gardens, I just take a picture. If you have me on Instagram, you will, you will know that. And this is beautiful Sydney Gardens. After a quick walk around the gardens, we then headed back to get Keisha's violin from my room. No, don't feel me. <laughs> like... After being serenaded by Keisha, we then had the Harry Potter formal getting underway by seeing the beautiful birds that they had. We had owls and birds. Some of them were a bit noisier than others. Um. <laughs> that's, that's Australian for show me your name <laughs> after Anna got serenaded by the bird Keisha had a go and then I had a go as well and it was so cool we had this little owl as well and it was so honestly so pretty it had such orange eyes and this is definitely one of the kind of perks of, of being a Cambridge student is the, the extra things that you get along with the kind of college experience and that is this is something that I'm loving so much and something that I'd never had at my undergrad and it's just quite spectacular really. So this part of Sydney is known as Cloister Court and it has these really beautiful walkways which I was trying to show until... Excuse me, press free zone. Oh, Jason, you ruined it. That was such a good shot. <laughs> After the interruption by Jason, I then got to hold this bird and it didn't go as planned. Um, but I'm taking it a good look, so... <laughs> The bird keepers then brought out this absolutely stunning owl and it was absolutely huge and one of us got to hold the owl, only one of us and for the purpose of the camera and for the vlogging we got this video too. After that I headed back to my room, this is the view from my room, I then got changed into my formal gear so now enjoy the Harry Potter formal.
setting up this formal for us. It was a great Harry Potter thing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.